Good morning. Uh, my name is Dick Fleming. I'm President and CEO of the St. Louis Regional Chamber of Growth Association, the RCGA. And we're pleased to be uh, joining our partners in economic development, uh, the Missouri Partnership at the St. Louis Development Corporation and the Missouri Department of Economic Development, along with uh, the Chief Executive of our state and our city, uh, and a very important individual, the CEO of uh, one of our newest uh, corporate citizens uh, in uh, St. Louis, uh, in this announcement today. Uh, with us, of course, is uh, Governor Nixon and Mayor Slay, and Ed Coleman is uh, the CEO uh, of Unisys, uh, of course, a worldwide Fortune 500 uh, information technology company. Uh, Ed is also joined uh, by uh, Ted Davies, who's president of Federal Systems uh, for Unisys, a uh, very important uh, player in this particular transaction, as you'll hear uh, in the course of, uh, of the, the news conference. Uh, our organization, the RCGA, was pleased to work with uh, our partners in this project, uh, specifically the Missouri Partnership and SLDC, uh, the St. Louis Community College, uh, a very important player as well on the workforce side of this is Slate, the Missouri uh, Career Center, uh, and of course the Missouri uh, Department of Economic Development, uh, David Kerr and his team. Uh, the, uh, a little bit of background to the project uh, before uh, introducing uh, our speakers. Um, the project started out, as many projects do, looking at the entire bi-state region. Uh, our economic development system is designed uh, to be responsive to customers' uh, focus and needs. As the customer focus emerged, uh, the uh, focus zeroed in specifically on our center city uh, here in the state of Missouri, in downtown specifically. And uh, we have worked uh, through that process uh, as a team uh, with, with the company. Uh, the company uh, has employees uh, located uh, at the uh, uh, Department of Agriculture, as you'll hear, the company has a very particular client focus in the public sector. So their USDA uh, relationship uh, is important, as well as their relationship to Scott Air Force Base. While they're not physically on the base, uh, they have a, a pretty strong uh, client relationship there. Um, this project is all new, uh, new concept uh, for the company, and in many ways a new concept for uh, the industry. Uh, the St. Louis region, we believe, uh, in this regard, in terms of information technologies, uh, has a very competitive and very compelling uh, case to make, and uh, apropos of uh, this decision, we think it's uh, illustrated. Just a, a data point or two, uh, IT workers in this region presently make up 3.5% uh, of our total St. Louis workforce. That's a considerable number nearly 50,000, uh, 46,270 to be specific. That compares uh, to the U.S. average uh, of 2.9%, of which is to say we've got a 22% higher concentration of IT workers uh, than any other region in the United States, which makes it very attractive to uh, companies such as uh, Unisys uh, in uh, these kinds of, uh, of, of workforce needs. Uh, we, uh, in fact, in the St. Louis region, we have added nearly 12,000 net uh, new jobs in the IT sector uh, since 1999. And uh, recognizing the kind of downturn that we've had in the national economy and the regional economy, uh, we have an asset that is a very important asset. We have over 1,000 IT workers in transition. And, uh, we and our state partners and David Shop and Slate have been working through the Bounce Back program in gearing those workers in transition up to be prepared for the kind of opportunities that we're here today talking about. And finally, uh, I would note that uh, uh, just yesterday, Computer World Magazine named several of our strongly IT-oriented companies, Scott Trade, National Information Solutions Cooperative, Express Scripts, and Edward Jones, four of the best places to work in IT uh, in the country. And I'm sure we'll be adding Unisys to that, uh, that roster in the years ahead.